Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great second week of Camp Morty's virtual programme. I am Elle and today we're going to be doing some artwork inspired by Jean-Michel Basquiat who is an artist who lived in Brooklyn and he is both a poet, an artist and a musician and we're going to be, we're going to be drawing some animals that are inspired by his style because he drew a lot of humans but he also drew a lot of animals too which I'll show you um, later on in the video. I'll show you some of his artwork here and yeah. One of the reasons I love Basquiat's art so much is that his style is really different and unique. So he does a lot of sort of scribbling and he uses a lot of paint and we can use markers to um, recreate the sort of graffiti pieces that he did. Um, and I just think it's a really fun way to express feelings because it's all about how um, he expresses movement and emotions in his paintings by the different marks and shapes he makes. So I think it's a really fun one to do. So just to go through your supplies quickly, um, you should have two pieces of paper. Um, the first one is for the first activity where we're designing an animal. And the second one um, is for our final piece, inspired by Basquiat. Um, so you should have some poster paints, a paintbrush, and you should also have definitely a black marker and maybe some other coloured markers. Um, and that should be that, I think. And then we'll be able to create our different pieces. And I am so excited to see yours, if you can share it, which I'll talk about at the end of the video. What we're going to end up doing, we're going to be doing sort of a drawing of our favourite animal but first um, we are going to do a little icebreaker which is designing your own animal which I thought would be quite fun. Also while I am drawing my lovely frog I'm going to tell you some facts about Jean-Michel Basquiat and we can learn more about the artist while we are doing work inspired by his. I'll get into the video now. So, as an icebreaker, we're going to do a little fun design your own animal type thing, which I did in school and I really enjoyed. We did it kind of as a project, but I thought it'd be a cool icebreaker to open up with because we're going to be drawing animals today. And then I will do a few more facts about Basquiat's life while I'm drawing my animal. But first... I'm thinking about my favourite animals, which are dogs, bees, elephants, and also frogs, which I forgot to add. And I think, yes, so I am drawing a bee body with a dog head, which kind of looks like a duck at the moment, but we'll work on that. And then... I'm going to add some big elephant ears as well. So you can pick whichever features you want and add them onto your animal. And you can use this animal for the activity we do afterwards. Or you can pick a different animal. It's completely up to you. So I did some bumblebee wings. I'm not really sure how this animal would actually fly. Not really sure whether the wings would work. Oh, I'm doing the frog legs now. So it could jump up and down as well, like a frog. But I'm not really sure. Maybe the <laughs> maybe the ears would help it fly. Maybe. I'm not sure. And then I am doing a dog tail as well after I've done the stripes. And doing the other ear on the other side. I thought I was going to do the tongue out, but then I decided not. Didn't look right. So I carried on. And then I let my um, camera run out of battery. So it skipped a little bit. But I outlined it and coloured it in, which you can do. So it's colouring it in with the different colours. So it's going for the B colours. Your animal can look however you want and you can use whichever animal's features you want to to create and your of animal. Course, pause the video if it takes longer. So 
So I'm just colouring it in. I think it looks pretty cool to be honest. And then I did the feet green and I did the tail green as well to match. So those are the frog feet. And then I did some water underneath because I can kind of imagine it like as an animal swimming but also flying. So I did that. So you can draw the animal surroundings if you want because part of the drawing that we're going to, the painting and drawing we're going to do is about movement. So thinking about how animals move and the different lines so and shapes you might want to use. So today I am going to do a Basquiat inspired animal because he drew a lot of animals as well as humans. One of his most famous paintings was of um, a dinosaur which had a crown on which I'll talk about the crowns in a minute but I decided to do a frog so here's me drawing starting to draw the frog um, you can do any animal you fancy you can do your animal that you made up in the icebreaker activity or you can do another animal so here i am doing a smiley frog and i'm also going to give you a few facts about basquiat whilst i am drawing um so the first thing I wanted to talk about was he was really, really interested in anatomy, especially human anatomy. Um, so he was actually in an accident when he was younger and he got the book Grey's Anatomy, which is um, a medical book. So he became really, really interested in how bodies are made up of different parts and he uses a lot of images of body parts and the body and skulls in his paintings. So that's definitely something that's really important in his work. But he also drew animals as well, like I mentioned. So that's why I decided to do animals today, because I thought that would be fun. And something that I mentioned as well with the crown that he um, draws on a lot of his earlier work. So he drew a crown on a lot of his work. And this was a way of him opening up a discussion about art and the history of art and repre representation in art so he always put a crown on not always but in his earlier work he did a lot of crowns um on the top of the people and the animals that he was drawing and also when he signed his name he put a crown above it too so you'll see the sort of crown that i draw it normally has um it always has three <laughs> spikes on the top of the crown and also, a cool fact is that he was good friends with Andy Warhol. So you might know his work, which is sort of a lot of pop art. Um, they did loads of drawing together, which is really cool. So like they used to get each other's work and draw on top of each other's work. So Basquiat's style is super different to Andy Warhol. So like they used to do collaborative pieces, which I thought was really cool. So I'm just drawing my frog. I'm outlining with a black pen. So Basquiat's style, you will have seen um, a little bit from the paintings I showed, but he is quite a free style. So you can do a lot, like, I wouldn't massively worry about um, whether you're keeping in the lines or the different colours you're using, whether they wouldn't normally go together. I I love doing this because it was just so much fun because there were so many different things you could do with it. You can put whatever colours you want on, you can draw wherever you want. All of his work is about shapes and words and lines and colours. So it's, it's a really nice piece to just go with how you're feeling. A lot of his work is about expression. So with the animals or the people he's drawing, a lot of it, the colours that he's using or the shapes he's drawing it's about how they would move or how how the animal or the person or the thing he's drawing would be moving or expressing how they're feeling or what they're doing so a lot of it is about movement and expression and emotion so it's kind of nice to just get lost in doing the artwork which is it's really fun so 
Another thing I wanted to talk about was he had a lot of rejection for his art. So a lot of people didn't think he was good enough, but he developed his own style and stuck to it, which I think is a really cool lesson from this one because he did not (laughs) care that other people didn't seem to like his art at first. He stuck with his style and he developed it in his own personal way, which I think is really cool because I think sometimes a lot of art we think when we draw something or paint something that isn't good enough because it doesn't necessarily look realistic or it doesn't look like a photograph, but only some art looks like a photograph. Um, Here you can see me putting lots of different colours on the page. Art doesn't have to look a certain way. It's all about what it means to you and other people don't have to understand it. You can explain it to them, but you don't have to explain it to them. It can be a really personal thing and that's why I really, really like it for when I'm not feeling that great or even when I'm feeling happy. It's just a really nice way to sort of express different things you're feeling and understand why you're feeling them. So here I am putting different coloured shapes on. So I started doing the blues because I kind of imagine the frog in water. Um, But I really liked sort of the triangles, so I was doing that. And I'm using all different sorts of paints. Um, You'll have a few bright colours. So Basquiat used a lot of bright colours. Um, So that's sort of what I'm doing. He used a lot of bright colours, yellows and reds. So I'm going to go in with those soon. And also it's a really, really nice way to sort of get the, the kind of style he was drawing and painting in is by using marker pens. So we're gonna be doing that as well because a lot of his style is super like sketchy and like a lot of people would say it's messy, but I think it's really expressive. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. And he uses a lot of different elements. So in his house, one of the coolest things I think is when he was painting, he used to um, have all of his stuff laid out. Um, So he had loads and loads of books and newspapers and magazines and different things that were inspiring him. So a lot of um, his artwork has words on or letters. um, So it's sort of like a mixture of words and expression. And so whenever he was painting, he had loads and loads of different books and newspapers all lying around a lot of the um, stuff that he found to start with. So he used to draw a lot and paint a lot on newspapers and paint on whatever he could find. He used to paint on wood that he found um, lying around that people didn't want anymore. Um, He painted on everything and anything, which I think is really cool. Um, His art style is really unique and that's why I wanted to focus on it. I really like it. Basquiat lived in New York City and a lot of his work was influenced um, by the place he was living in, so the city, and also at one point he and his friend did a lot of work and art around the city in the form of graffiti Um, and that was what brought him a lot of attention and allowed his work to gain more exposure. His father was born in Haiti and his mother was born in New York City and was of Puerto Rican heritage. So Basquiat spoke English, Spanish and French and he listened to a range of music and read so many different types of books and he also read a lot of his father's newspapers which is was a big influence on the way he started his work, everything that was around him and the influences he had from the different art forms that he engaged in, um, that definitely all fed in and influenced his art and his style. I'm kind of just going with a lot of different colours on this one. Um, but I liked how it like, how it was going. I feel like you have to really let, let loose on this one um, and just go for what feels right. And also don't be afraid if you if it's not going the way you go you you thought it would be going. Just go with it and see what feels best. 
and do not be afraid to scribble a bit and be what some people would call messy because his style is definitely a lot of free expressive lines and shapes and colours. So I've added on a lot of the thicker black marker as well around the eyes and also on the feet and the crown. Doing a lot of lines, a lot of scribbling. And also, so I wrote ribbit ribbit because I think that's the sound that frogs make. And then I also wrote splash in the water area. And I think the yellow circle is because frogs <laughs> make me smile and they make me feel happy. Um, and I feel like the yellow circle was kind of like how the frog moves in my head. But also I did a lot of different colours around the feet to sort of show how he might be moving because as I said Basquiat's drawings are and paintings and work are a lot about movement and the way different um, animals and people and things would move and the shapes that they would make so that's what I did and I'm really happy with my final piece I think it looks really cool I would love to see yours, so I will put some details on the screen in a minute on how you can share it with me and everyone. So yes, I will show you my final piece. I really hope you've had fun doing some painting today and that you've learned some new facts about Basquiat because I did when I was researching for this video and as I said I would love to see your art so please share it by emailing mary at campmorty.com or um, you can put your photos on Instagram and tag us at campmorty. I hope you have a great rest of the day and I will see you next time.